when the trial ended and they were acquitted, the Bundys were acquitted and the uh, attorney was tased and, and that whole scenario happened and they were immediately grabbed and then taken down to Nevada. I knew something was horribly wrong. Bunkerville rancher Cliven Bundy put in handcuffs. We didn't expect this. It was kind of like unreal, that it wasn't really happening in our country. FBI came in. They were ready for a, a battle in Fallujah. Jack said that uh, if they if they do drag him back there, he's going to die in prison. Why did he take the plea deal? They said that if he didn't take it, that they were going to go pick up his friend Jack Comerford for cancer. So anyway, um, the judge herself calls a sidebar and Eric Parker is ripped from the stand and no longer allowed to testify. Throughout the whole ordeal, um, in the beginning I thought, <clears throat> well, I've got my, my Sixth Amendment right to um, a, a, a speed trial, I've got a speed trial right. And, and then, boom, I got no speedy trial right. Well, I've got the right to, to call witnesses. And then, boom, we, we, we don't get witnesses, they get around that. And then, so, well, okay, I, but I've got the right to testify on my own behalf, and that's what's going to save me. You know, I kept falling back on the Constitution. I just had my last defense taken away from me. Our legislator, Dorothy Moon, took it upon herself in writing a letter and gathering support. We helped facilitate gathering signatures for that letter. She turned that into Raul Labrador. Raul Labrador took that letter to Jeff Sessions, had a personal meeting. The second trial ended. We had um, an 11 to 1 to acquit. And then I heard they were going to have a third trial. The unethical potentially illegal behavior uh, that was highlighted by Special Agent Wooten as a whistleblower in an email that, uh, or, or it looks like an email, uh, that we have confirmed the veracity of. Uh, what's the impact of the, the Larry Wooten memo? Answered prayer. <laughs> when she gets the evidence of the snipers, and, and it's on the record, they're snipers she immediately is like, I threw a guy off the stand for mentioning snipers. Um, yeah, my husband. Societally speaking and in our law, we agree that a person who has been convicted can be subjected to punishment. But when you are not convicted, you cannot be. And Ammon was chronically punished. As a citizen of Idaho, it was our duty to stand up for our fellow constituent, M. Bundy. There's moments where I needed needed my better half. Now I've been a political prisoner for 700 days. I came in here as a free man, I didn't even leave as a free man. But I never dreamed that they would hold him without bail for two years. But I never imagined it would take two years.